Hello, I'm Judy Harris Kluger, Executive Director of Sanctuary for Families, and I'm proud to be presenting this short video celebrating the past 24 years of the Abley Awards. The Abley Awards honor lawyers, judges, and others who have been at the forefront of some of the most important legal developments in the movement to end gender-based violence. The awards were created in 1997 to honor the late Mary Ellen Abley, an attorney at Davis Polk, a graduate of Columbia Law School, and one of the first and extraordinary pro bono attorneys at Sanctuary for Families. The Abley Awards recognize distinguished women and men who have made significant contributions to end gender violence and sex trafficking. Abley honorees have presided over or counseled landmark cases that have made national headlines. Their work has led to improved policies and legislation affecting survivors of domestic violence, sex trafficking, and related forms of gender violence. I had the pleasure of working with Mary Ellen Abley when we were both attorneys at Davis Polk. At that time, Domestic violence was not a public policy issue, as many still considered it a private matter. One of our goals in creating the Abley Awards was to shine a spotlight on the scourge of domestic violence and to bring more awareness to the issue. With the help of David LeBron, who was then the Dean of Columbia Law School, and Denny Lewis, a senior partner at Davis Polk, we created the Mary Ellen Abley Fellowship. This fellowship is funded by Davis Polk and has been awarded every year since 1996 to a Columbia Law School student who embodies the spirit of Mary Ellen and who has demonstrated a commitment to working with victims of gender violence. This led to the creation of the Abley Award for leading women and children to safety in 1997 to honor national figures who make a difference in the lives of domestic violence and sex trafficking survivors. Several years later, we added the Abley Pro Bono Award to recognize the contributions of the extraordinarily dedicated attorneys who have consistently demonstrated professional commitment to improving the lives of Sanctuary's clients. I think the Abley Awards have elevated the work of Sanctuary for Families by shining a bright light on the complexity of the legal cases that we handle on behalf of gender violence survivors, our partnership with the private bar in representing these survivors, and in bringing survivors themselves into the room, often to stand on the podium beside me and other sanctuary leaders as we recognize the accomplishments of leaders in the private bar. I think that the combination of legal and support services that Sanctuary for Families provides to victims of violence and exploitation sends a very powerful message that our legal system is committed to ensuring equal justice and treatment for every person without regard to income, skin color, or immigration status. I think everyone would agree that Sanctuary serves as a beacon of hope for vulnerable and marginalized people. And to my mind, that has been accomplished, not because of the words they speak, not because of the mission they preach, but rather because of the actions that are taken, actions that truly impact the quality of an individual's health, safety, and welfare. And that by extension, work to encourage others who might otherwise suffer in silence to come out of the shadows in order to seek the help and services they may need to achieve justice and safety in their lives. The late Judith S. K., Chief Judge of New York State, was our first ably honoree. I was fortunate to work with Judge K. in establishing New York State's Integrated Domestic Violence Courts, a groundbreaking development that helped thousands of domestic violence survivors address the many legal issues that they face. Judge Kay was an innovative and visionary leader who set the standard for all those who followed her as future Abley honorees. Among our many influential, inspirational Abley honorees was Judge Jack Weinstein. 
Judge Weinstein presided over a precedent-setting class action lawsuit litigated by Sanctuary's legal center in which our client Charlene Nicholson was the lead plaintiff. Filed against New York City and its Administration for Children's Services, the case challenged the constitutionality of ACS's practice of removing children from their mothers solely because the mothers were victims of domestic violence. Judge Weinstein held that this practice violated the constitutional rights of battered mothers, and in doing so, he transformed the way child protective agencies respond to domestic violence, not only in New York City, but around the world. The Abeliana Rees have included some of the most exceptional leaders in the legal profession, including Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, former U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch, and the Honorable Edwina Richardson Mendelson, one of Sanctuary's first attorneys. As Sanctuary's first staff attorney, I represented domestic violence survivors in family court. They were seeking orders of protection, custody, and child support. It was at the time a brand new law office and extremely exciting to practice law in my area of passion for the very first time, and it was in the court of my heart. Sanctuary was where I learned the value of holistic lawyering. My clients didn't just have cases, they had extremely complicated lives, and my role as their attorney was to ensure that I did my very best to listen, learn from them, and offer the best counsel I could and trying to assist them with all of their arising needs. Receiving the Abley Award remains among my highest honors. I remember that lovely night clearly. My parents, children, grandchild, sisters, nieces, friends, and colleagues were all there, present and sharing in that really special moment. It was a true privilege to receive an award in the memory of our dear colleague who gave so very much of herself to help others in need. I remember gleefully accepting this Abley Award on behalf of all of the hardworking judges and personnel of our family courts. We're especially proud that our own Judge Judy Harris Kluger was an Abley Awards recipient in 2004 a decade before she became executive director of Sanctuary for Families. As deputy chief administrative judge for court operations and planning, Judge Kluger was instrumental in implementing the integrated domestic violence courts and went on to help design and implement New York's pioneering human trafficking intervention courts. Suffice it to say that Judge Kluger's administrative expertise and her skill in transforming systems response to the urgent needs of gender violence survivors, honed during her decades of leadership in the court system, has been put to good use at Sanctuary for Families. While we are not able to meet in person this year, we hope we can all be together in 2021 as we honor Dorchen Lighthold and Linda Lopez for their combined 50 years of leadership and commitment to ending gender-based violence. Thank you all for joining us and special thanks to our Legal Advisory Council who supports and promotes the work of Sanctuary's Legal Center every day. Stay safe and hope to see you all soon.